Welcome to Policy on Demand's Week in Review. I'm Todd Metcalf. What would you tell clients are your takeaways from this week? I think my three takeaways for the week can be summed up in three words, crisis, uncertainty, and hope. The situation unfolding in Ukraine, while not unprecedented, is creating crisis, humanitarian and otherwise, in Ukraine and beyond. But the disruptions flowing from the invasion are already rippling through the global economy. And this only adds fuel to the slow burn of uncertainty at home and abroad as companies continue to chart a path from pandemic to endemic, deal with unprecedented supply chain challenges, and confront inconsistent and problematic developments in tax policy in the U.S. and around the world. And yet there's also some hope for the Biden administration's domestic agenda, with Senator Manchin reopening the door, for a restoration of expensing for R&D, um, and also for a comparatively, anyway, smooth confirmation process for Supreme Court nominee Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. Which question related to policy did you get asked the most, and how did you respond? The question I heard most was, does Congress appreciate the inconsistencies between its proposals to reform the international tax system and what Treasury seems to have agreed with its OECD partners? And the good news for U.S. companies, I think, is Congress does appreciate those inconsistencies and is interested in engaging with companies to help smooth out any rough edges and any inconsistencies that may um, redound to the detriment of U.S. companies and the U.S. economy. Where should companies focus their attention in the coming week? I think companies should continue to focus on what Congress is doing, even though Congress may not be working on tax right now. I think that what Congress is undertaking with respect to Ukraine, with respect to um, other global issues will have ripple effects, not just in the U.S. economy, but across the globe. Um, I also think that we should take note of what Senator Manchin said and see if uh, those negotiations for a domestic uh, legislative product that would likely include tax changes um, starts to ramp up in the next week or so.